So, I need a new sketchbook. Okay, let me explain. Hello, if you don't know me, I am Cece. I am an illustrator artist based in New York City. I draw stuff, I make cute things. Yeah, I have a lot of videos <laughs> that you can watch where I make lots of stuff. But today, we are gonna be talking about sketchbooks because I, okay, I have sketchbooks. In fact, I have three sketchbooks that I have not filled. I have this one, which <laughs> is a shameful, completely empty. I have not touched this, okay? I have this one that I used uh, in 2022, yes. And I filled up most of it, but I have not, I, it's not, it's, I still have a couple empty pages, right? And then I have this one, which I bought um last year and i was really um motivated that i would paint something every month at least one thing every month that was in um traditional so i've painted a couple things and uh this was in march and uh, i have not touched it since so I was thinking about this um, because I would like to have a sketchbook habit, but I don't keep one clearly. Um, and I was thinking about it and I realized, okay, I always buy sketchbooks that are mixed media or watercolor paper because I always think, oh, I'm gonna paint a lot and then I want like paper that doesn't wrinkle. See, like this pa the paper didn't really wrinkle, you know? It it's like good watercolor paper. I think that in my head I want like, I, I wanted to have beautiful sketchbooks like like the ones that people will post on Instagram where I can like show my spreads and it's like beautiful art. But all right, I am not that kind of girly, okay? I am not gonna sit down and like draw something for like three hours nowadays and um, paint and like have to clean up and it's too much work. It's too much work, okay? So I need a sketchbook. <laughs> This is kind of funny. I need a sketchbook where the paper is bad, okay? I want the paper to be like kind of flimsy, not super great. I want it to be where I am not worried about making a mess. I want it to be um, where I'm going to be mostly just drawing with pencil and maybe pen um, and maybe marker, but like not worrying about paint and stuff. And I want it to have, I want, I want to give myself a habit where I am paint, I am not painting, I am specifically not painting, I am drawing in my sketchbook at least a couple times a week. Each time I want to fill up at least one page. I want to go for at least one like around an hour each time so it's not like a huge chunk of time but a decent amount of time i want it to be mostly life studies observational studies um drawings from pictures on pinterest and things like that i want to yeah just something that's easy and not something i won't get in my head about you know all right now with that said let's go sketchbook shopping <laughs>
hello hello it's voiceover cc here um i am back from my little sketchbook shopping spree we went to goods for the study which is a stationary store in um west village is it the village east village hello <laughs> We went to a stationery store that's near NYU, all right? It's called Good for the Study. I've only ever been to the Mulberry Street location, but this time we went to the one that's on West 8th Street, and it's really cute. Highly recommend going to check it out if you are in the area. It's a really lovely um, local stationery store, and they have a pen wall, which is my favorite thing. I love looking at all the pens. I was very tempted to buy another Koweco, even though I do not need another fountain pen. I have fountain pens that I already don't use. <laughs> I this is this video is just me exposing all of my shame. Anyway, I ended up buying this pink sketchbook that is by the store themselves it's by goods for the study and i have no idea what gsm the paper is i have no idea what the specs are for this sketchbook i actually originally went in thinking i was going to get a loisterm sketchbook um, but they didn't have a good color selection i really wanted a soft cover loisterm sketchbook um that was maybe like a light pastel pink because I saw those when I was on vacation um, over Christmas and uh, yeah, Goods for the Study didn't have them. So I was looking around, I was debating between getting the soft cover Loisterm gray notebook um, and then I saw this one and this one is actually, it's, it's thicker than I was originally planning. I kind of wanted a thin notebook so I wouldn't feel pressure around, you know, filling up enough pages i wanted it to be like kind of quick to get through but listen the like blush pink really just felt like me it called to me i liked it better than the gray color of the loisterm and it was a lot cheaper because the loisterm was like 23 24 dollars and this sketchbook was 16 dollars and it had more paper so it felt it felt like i was getting a deal okay according to girl math i'm somehow making money maybe I don't know. Um, yeah, so we ended up breaking in the sketchbooks at a local coffee shop. I drew an observational kind of sketch um, from what I could see out the window. And then I worked on some thumbnail sketches for the February Patreon sticker and print. So you got a little bit of a sneak peek for that in the vlog portion of this video. And now I'm just doodling some animals. I um, am working on some sketches of goats and later I will be drawing a bunch of ducks. I was just looking at cute animals on Pinterest, going through photos. Um, one of my patrons last year asked for more goat content. So I am trying my best, although I think I am slowly learning about myself that goats are kind of hard to draw to make them look like goats. Like I felt like they just kind of looked like small sheep, like not fluffy sheep. <laughs> Please don't come for me. <laughs> I know they're not the same. Um, yeah, so I drew two goats and then Pinterest recommended me a bunch of duck pictures after I was looking at the goats and then I was like, you know what? I want to draw the ducks. The ducks are so cute. They're so rotund. I love them. So yeah, um, I thought we could take this time while I'm sketching to just chat to talk about a couple of 2024 goals. Let me know if you have any goals. Um, that you are really excited about for the year. I have a couple of art goals and I have a couple of life goals. Um, I thought we could talk about the life goals first. Um, my main life goal, life goal, that's <laughs> a little bit excessive. My main goal for lifestyle is to go outside a little bit more often. I work from home because I work for myself and because of that, it means that I can go days without going outside. Last year, I kind of tried to make a go outside goal and it didn't really work. So this year I am trying to do a step goal. I have a Fitbit now um, and I love my Fitbit because I love looking at how many steps I've taken during the day. And some days 
last year were quite shameful. I don't think I, there were, I think there were some days where I didn't even hit a thousand steps because all I did was go to the bathroom and back to my desk and I live in a very small apartment, all right? So this year, my goal is to walk 7,000 steps um, per day at least five times a week um, because I didn't want to do a daily goal. I have noticed about myself that if I have a goal that I want to do every single day and I miss a day, I get really in my head about it. Um, so five times a day, I mean five times a day, five times a week seemed more reasonable to me. And so far, I've been really enjoying it. The weather outside is cold and dreary and windy, and I love it. Um, I know that some people don't enjoy the cold. I love the cold. I recently got a jacket. I finally got a new winter jacket. You guys, you should be so proud of me. My old winter jacket was from when I was 13. I am not 13 anymore. I am so old. <laughs> that jacket was falling apart i finally got myself a new winter jacket and it is so cozy and so warm it's from outdoor research it was so expensive i don't want to talk about it but um i love putting it on and going outside and my face is all like nice and cold and chilled wind chilled and my body is nice and warm <laughs> <laughs> so it's been really nice walking around. I really like looking at all of the Christmas decorations people still have up. I have seen so many deflated Santa Clauses and there's something just so funny about them. Um, yeah, there is uh, w one of the houses in my neighborhood has a Grinch statue animatronic. It's not, it's not one of those blow up ones. It's like, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's currently it, it's under an umbrella and the umbrella is closed so it looks like it's trapped in the umbrella and i love it it's so funny um yeah so i have i have this goal of going outside a little bit more often i also have goals around blocking out my sketchbook time as i've talked about i am trying so hard to use my sketchbook now that I have this cute little pink one. Um, I am telling myself that all I have to do is draw with pencil and it doesn't have to be pretty. So this page is kind of ugly, okay? Just so, just listen, some people have beautiful sketchbook pages and I am trying to bring back the ugly sketchbook pages. They don't have to be nice. The whole point is to kind of warm up and get myself ready for drawing like actual things that are going to be produced for my shop and for Patreon. So yeah, I, I have done this once so far since filming. I filmed the, um, I filmed myself drawing this sketchbook page and it actually was a really good warm up. I was just kind of doodling, drawing these shapes, um, and drawing these animals and it helped me warm up for drawing my actual stickers for patreon for february and march so it was really nice to be able to warm warm up and um kind of get straight into drawing stuff for actual you know purchase and consumption so i thought that was really nice i would like to keep doing that um over the year and hopefully i don't think i'm gonna try and fill up the entire sketchbook this year because there's a lot of pages but you know maybe like half um and i would like to get through at least one page a week, which seems like a very small goal, but we're gonna start small, all right? I would like to get through at least one page a week and I will be posting sketchbook photos on my Patreon um, for the sketchbook sweet sketches tier. Is that what I called it? The $5 tier, um, yeah. Uh, as for shop goals and art goals, I have so many goals for this year. Last year, I did my first convention. If you haven't seen my Anime NYC vlog, um, you should definitely check it out. But I did my first convention last year and it was so fun. It was so stressful. I chipped my tooth. My tooth has now been fixed. Don't worry. Um, it costs so much money. <laughs> um, yeah, I my goal is to get into at least two conventions this year. I have a couple of conventions kind of, uh, you know, that I have my eye on. I have them marked in my calendar for when I think their applications will open so that I can apply to them. 
yeah, if you have any conventions that you think that I should go to, let me know. I am currently, I have Otakon on my list and I have um, obviously Anime NYC again and uh, Comic-Con, uh, NYCC, New York Comic-Con. I have those on my list. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely, I don't know that many anime conventions, so if you know them, please let me know. Oh, I also have Anime Expo on my list, which would require a lot of traveling. We'll see, you know? Anyway, so I, I would like to do more conventions. I would like to do another plushie Kickstarter, so, you know, keep your eyes out for that. Um, it won't be anytime soon. It'll probably be for the fall, but I have my dream plushies that I want to make. Obviously, Bao was a dream plushie, and I love Bao. Um, she's still in my shop if you want her she's i've got like 20 left or something so yeah if you want her you should get her soon because i'm not restocking her um yeah so i would like to make new plushies hopefully by the time that i'm making the new plushies bow will be mostly sold out because i don't want to store more <laughs> plushies i want to store you know one at a time you know <laughs> um so I have plushies that I'm planning on making. I have more video content that I'm planning on making. I want to do more chatty vlogs. I want to do daily vlogs. Not daily vlogs, but like vlogs where I show my entire day. Not vlogs every day because I, I couldn't, I can't keep up with that. Let's be realistic. But I am hoping to make a video every two weeks. So, um yeah let me know if there's any type of video content that you would really love to see i have a video i want to make more studio vlogs i have a video planned where i am just sitting and talking about all of the expenses that i have made for a shop update where i'm going to be breaking down how much um, i paid for you know the stickers the mailers all that stuff so i have that planned i have all of my I have all of my shop updates planned for the rest of the year because I am that type of girly. I love a good plan. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that I, I'm really excited. I'm really excited for this upcoming year. I have a lot of goals. Last year, I broke a really big um, profit goal. Uh, this is kind of, I don't know if it's um, unclassy to talk about money, but... Last year, I grew my business by about 35% uh, in profit, and that was really exciting for me. I am now making um, nearly how much I made when I got my first salary job in New York City, which was really thrilling. Um, I did not, my first salary job was not a lot of money. <laughs> Just so y'all know, I'm still not making a ton of money, but <laughs> it was exciting for me, okay? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, so I'm hoping that this year I will be able to grow it even further, especially with the conventions that I'm going to be hoping, hopefully going to be able to do um, if I get in. Uh, so yeah, I want to make more fan art this year. I'm really excited about that. I have a couple of fan art stickers that I have planned for Valentine's Day, and I'm really excited about them. I've been thinking about them for, you know, like a couple, I thought about, I thought of them over vacation over Christmas vacation and I was so excited listen so um hopefully I will be making those very soon yeah I'm just really excited about the year I feel like typically around January and February I am I have simultaneous like excitement and also dread because I get really kind of in my head about all of my goals and like I get you know I have perfectionism and all of these things but I'm actually I'm not feeling very much dread right now I'm feeling a lot of excitement and that's really that's really exciting for me I'm I'm excited that I'm I'm excited to be excited does that make sense um yeah I've been I've been doing therapy as as you guys may know I've been talking about that a little bit um I have been uh I've been doing therapy regularly and I am on medication now and I think that has helped a lot um I think for a long time I was not sure about 
about therapy and meds. Well, I knew about I knew that therapy was good for me, um, but I kind of didn't want to invest the money and time into therapy because it's expensive. And uh, now I'm kind of like, yeah, I, I needed it and it's good for me. So this is just your little reminder that if you need help, there's no shame in asking for it. And that um, I hope you can find a therapist that is a good fit for you. I had to go through two. Um, my first therapist when I started therapy again was um, not a good fit for me and that's fine and I found a new one so yeah all right um I think I am about ready to wrap this page up and this little video up uh a quick little reminder to let you know that my shop is back open I know some of y'all were waiting for my shop to reopen um for like planner goodies and stuff uh yeah the shop is open again my sticker sheets i am not going to be restocking so whatever is left right now like that's it all of, i am switching to outsourcing all of my sticker sheets i'm so excited i hate cutting sticker sheets um yeah so i am switching to manufactured uh, outsourced sticker sheets so all of the ones that are currently in the shop that are not on vinyl paper those are they're leaving okay so just just so you know and also please check out the clearance tab i still have a bunch of stuff that i would like to get rid of before you know we get into shop update time again my next shop update will be in february just so you all know but some of the things will be out of stock before then so you know just check it out if you want to um january and february is typically a slow month for shops so uh please support your favorite artists and creators during this time yeah um that's it all right thank you so much for hanging out with me while we did a little bit of sketching thank you so much for you know joining me on this little adventure sketchbook adventure let me know if you want to see more new york city content uh, I really want to go on some sketchbook dates with my friend Marianne this year. So maybe we can do a little bit of vlogging and sketching for that. Maybe we can go sketch in a museum. Ooh, um, yeah, I have a new camera now because my mom got me a camera for my Christmas present, which is very thrilling, um, which is why I <laughs> am dealing with a slow zoom <laughs> for the dog, creepy dog uh, clips, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I have a new camera now and I'm really excited about it. So I would like to do more vlogs around the city and stuff. So yeah, let me know if, uh, you want to see that type of content. Let me know what type of videos you would like to see. And that's it. I'm going to stop, uh, blabbering on now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being part of my cozy little space on the internet. Um, thank you for hanging out with me and happy new year. Happy 2024. I hope that this year will be a great year for you and for me. Yeah. Bye friends. Bye.